Yes, now family ammo, welcome back to another video on Jazzy TV. Thank you for all the views and growing my channel for me, by the way, because it is growing slowly but surely. And uh, yeah, I want to be a YouTube star one day and want to make loads of money off YouTube because this boxing is just not paying. But anyway, thank you for all the support the other night. It was great to be back. I had my fight the other night. It was fantastic to be back as well. New team. With Joe, Jekyll and Jay, um, I'm still some of my old team as well, and being back in the changing room tonight, night, um, you forget, you forget sometimes how alive it makes you feel. I don't know if anyone's got a passion in like in in the life, what they just can't live without. But that's boxing for me, and um, the feeling of the feeling of mixed emotions, adrenaline, nerves, anxiety, happiness, excitement. All rolls into the one, there's nothing like it. <laughs> can't can't explain this feeling. You'd have to relate if you can't explain it to someone. You, you'll know if you know, you know. And I was saying to my kids when I got home, life is just so short and you can't be you can't be messing around doing things that make you unhappy. You've got to find that passion in life. And for me, I haven't boxed in a year, have I? So therefore, if you don't box, you don't earn. So there's not many people in life who will actually go a full year without earning money as a job there's not many people who are going to do that in life and it's important to do something that you love because <laughs> you're not going to go and work for nothing are you unless you love something and you believe in yourself and it's, a, um, it's an investment in yourself really isn't it so to do what I've done this year it's been a tough year but I've had a lot of growth when I lost that last fight last year I just felt like I've seen the world of boxing disappear in front of my eyes <laughs> everything just evaporated that's how it felt and um it was painful it was hard i'm not gonna lie and um your identities are wrapped up in boxing and for me it just vanished before my eyes i lost my world title but i knew i've got a video why. in here and I, I can finally explain to people why but i couldn't do it without i couldn't just talk about excuses without evidence that i am still good enough to be world champion and i am back so i've had to wait a year to put this video out here i'll put it up here now so that video there was when it, when i last fought at featherweight it was too big for the weight but once you're making a weight and you win a world title at a weight you're trapped into it um you're trapped between a rock and a hard place because you have to keep continuing to fight at that weight because you've got a title to defend and, and it got so bad that i thought i thought i was going to lose my life making the weight said the lord's prayer and um it, it went that far of saying the lord's prayer i honestly thought i was gonna die and this video purposes why are you why are you filming that film this video purposes for me was the insurance for my family that they still get provided for that was my hope in this situation and it's it's not i know it's not logical thinking at the time but when your emotions are high and you're going through something like this you don't think logically do you so that was my reasoning behind it. I forced my dad to take the video as they phoned the ambulance to come out to me. And um, if it in children's papers, you know, so the, the, the finances still go to my family. If I was to be paid at all, no unboxing, probably not. But anyway, that's why that the video was taken. Not for evidence for anyone else, just for me family that they still get paid and stuff like that. So <laughs> that, was the, that was the reasoning behind the film. I'm glad I got the footage. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't die. But I was speaking to a runner the other night, and the runner explained to me what happens when you when your body clamps up and your body yeah <laughs> when your body does this. The next thing to go when nothing but your head works, the next thing to go in your body is your heart. Because runners face severe dehydration, don't think through to the exertion and stuff like that. But that he said the next thing to go there was your heart. So I don't regret it, you know what I mean? A lot of fighters would never get in the ring in a state like that. Um, every every punch that I took, it hurt me. It hurt me head, big time. Um, it's like my brain was rotten. There's no fluids on my brain. I'm sorry it's, I took that fight like that. No, was it stupid? Yeah, of course it was. I've got a family at home. It's only when you get home, you see your family and you see your, your kids and you look at them and you think, wow, bloody hell, I took a crazy risk the other day. And, and it is what it is. But, I believe that God's got a plan. Sometimes you have to follow through on your words and what you said you do. And if you got a belt, I believe that fighter should lose it. You should win it like a champion and you should lose it like a champion. You should go out on your shield. And unfortunately for me, I did. Boxing's changed a little bit though, hasn't it? And um, not everyone plays by them rules anymore. 
and it seems that media has changed a lot these days and it seems that a lot of fighters it's all about hype these days it's not about who's the most dedicated who's the most hard working who's the best you know what i mean and sometimes the views and likes and comments and money and stuff like that gets in the way you know what i mean so am i going to become a diva and start working that way no i'll always be jazza i'll always be myself i'll always take the biggest fights and that's just the way i am and i'm proud to be like that because i think that myself and the fighters like me with the last this generation is going to be the last of the real fighters i honestly believe that but anyway most i digress once again as i always do saturday night now that's out the way you can talk about saturday night how it felt going up there it was amazing absolutely amazing thank you to Colin and boxing promotions for having me on the show show here in liverpool thank you to everybody who came out to watch me fight I know a lot of people could make it out. A lot of people was at Glastonbury. I knew he was going to go to a boxing venue. Let's have a rise. If Glastonbury's on and you're at the boxing, you're going to be good to that. So everyone can come to the next one. I appreciate all the people that could come. Everyone who turns out for me and supported me and cheered me on. And when I was in there and he announced me in my hometown, there's nothing like fighting in your hometown. And he announced me as former IBO world champion and uh, the place went up it was amazing really <laughs> great 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 feeling just to be back just the ring walk as well as i was walking out i thought you know what i'm feeling him um, i'm down for business tonight i just want to just want to get in there i'm feeling a bit nasty and beefy was at the side and beefy said yeah it's just enjoy it soak it up and i said no you're right there you're right and it took a little bit longer on the stage and it looks about and um, i appreciated that bit of advice there because it's true once you once it's gone it's gone and then you're back in the position that I'm in now, Monday morning, it's like, oh, I went to the next one. So I'm glad that I enjoyed it, soaked it up, made the most of it. Um, durable opponents, he didn't think he'd been stopped twice. And so um, I think I put a bit of emphasis on stopping him more than boxing <laughs> nice sometimes. And uh, But I did stop him in the end and I got a good win. And it was more for me, this fight was about connecting with my team and that did happen. Declan, good advice in the corner, sit down and shot yourself to get him out of there. And when I did, we finally did in the sixth round. It might have been a little bit late for me the last round, but is he going to survive here? <laughs> but we got him out of there and it was nice just to be back, back in the winning column. And uh, now I can get a big fight. It's a big fight for me next. That's the plan, Lee, he'll be on the job. So it did, did. now it's on Lee to the, um, do his part and um, get us a big fight. And I'm sure he will he's a good manager. So. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to fighting again, but it was just so good to be in there the other night. Uh, back in Liverpool, back around the people that I love the most, the Liverpool community. Seeing all my family and friends in there. Derry was there too. Good, nice to see Derry before the fight. Um, yeah, it's just nice, really, really nice, you know. Um, lovely, lovely little night. And um, just once again, thank you for everyone who came out to watch me box. And they're just the reasons why why I've been in this position for the last year. And I always believe God has got, got his own purpose. I follow God's will. I always try my best. And um, growth is more important sometimes than achievements. So I think that's where I've been the last year. But now I'm back and I'm happy to um, move forward into the next chapter. I'm glad to show to people that I still have it. Um, not only do I still have it, uh, I'm better than I've ever been. I've been learning, I've never missed a day in the gym. In that year of working without in the penny, I've been in the gym every single day, so yeah, part of my days off. Which, you know, I'm allowed as a professional fighter, not many people know that, but yeah, it's nice. Nice to be back. So I think, for what's next now, I would say, maybe a big fight, one of the big names. I see that Josh Wellington's, he's moved up to this, he's fighting Anto Kakachi. The Anto Kakachi fight would have been nice, wouldn't it? real gentleman of boxing and um, he's got the world titles but Josh Wellington managed to get the fight good on him like I've never seen a fighter lose lose the last two fights and then move up a weight and then get the fucking fight as a world title crazy but that's the position he's in he sells a lot of tickets and I think he's got I think he's got his promoter Eddie Ann to thank him for a lot of his success and it is it is it, um, it's a joint venture you know fighters are not on the house support of the fans, the promoters, the managerial side, the coaches, it's a team effort, you know, and sometimes the fighter gets all the credit, but yeah, I think he's got a great team around him, so that's why he's got that fight, good for him, in the meantime, Lee Wood, I don't know if he prized himself out of that fight, I'm not too sure, I don't know, seems like that by the, 
media that I'm seeing, but like I say, you don't know the full story, so it's hard to comment, isn't it? So, um, the Lee Wood fight there, a rematch with Lee Wood, uh, uh, well, it's a trilogy with Lee Wood, we beat him twice already before, that'll be a nice fight there. And um, also the Michael Collin fight, if he's still fighting, I don't know, I'm too sure if he's retired or I don't know. I spoke to him good night, he said he is going to have a comeback, I'm not too sure when, I wouldn't want to wait, wouldn't want to wait too long in case he doesn't come back, you've wasted time there, but that'll be a good fight. Um, and then even the, some of the lesser level fights, well title eliminators, I'm, I'm happy to fight for them, that'll be nice. So yeah, but you know, that's the landscape of the, the British division, that's just in Britain alone, so yeah, I'm excited to see what... What, what goes next and um, we've got a new team and I'm glad that we work together as the new team and we um, and we got to know each other a little bit more and I'm sure that, well I'm not I'm very confident that there's going to be nothing but growth here for me and I'm learning in the gym being in the gym this morning it's Monday morning at the Sunday off and um, yeah it's a nice little Sunday with my kids and um, back in the gym today so back to business already so um Fucking hell, that weight. I looked at myself this morning when I woke up, and it's crazy the weight you put on there. The, <laughs> the belly like a turtle's back, and I was like, oh, why? You know what I mean? You take so long, you take so long losing the weight, and then it just goes on you in the weekend. It's crazy, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll just stick, stick, to, stick to what I'm doing, stick to my diet. Every fighter says after the fight, they're going to diet, don't they? I'm going, now that's it, my life's changed. I'm going to, um, on a diet so it's important to live the life no <laughs> not live on a diet or off a diet that's what i do do now you know so i live the life so i won't go too far from the diet but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what's next i'm looking forward to getting healthy out of camp keeping me faith out of camp sometimes for me i am um, i pray to the lord when i need something and i want something you know <laughs> i'm good at that so i'm um, keeping me faith keeping me healthy lifestyle and uh, getting a little bit more family time a little bit less training time as I'm always already fit a little bit more family time in the time that I've got spare and making the most of that and then I'm sure I will let you know when um, something good comes so yeah thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and leave a comment below for the algorithm and you have a lovely day from Alamo